Arts and Physical Therapy. Today I want to teach you a training routine for hitting the slopes safely, increasing your performance, helping your enjoyment out there and preventing injury. This is particularly catered towards snowboarding. If you're a skier, go ahead and uh, stay in there. It's just not totally tweaked towards a skier, but there will be some very useful things in there for you as well. So main stay, okay? Let's get started. Squat. <laughs> All right, uh, darn it, if I want to do well out there, I got to do squats, yep. So from the side, it looks like this. Notice how far my hips are going back. It's like I'm sitting in an imaginary chair, okay? I'm not coming forward like this. Now there is some utility to that while I'm snowboarding. We come on the toe edge. I do need to have my knees forward a bit, but in terms of preserving knee health, I really want to go back and do a to hip squat and really get great strengthening for the glutes in particular and putting less load through the knee like I mentioned. Okay, so think about the stance that you have on your snowboard or if you've never snowboarded before, put your hips wider than, put your feet wider than your hips into narrow. You're not gonna snowboard like that because you'll just be falling over like crazy. So your feet should be wider than your hips. Think about how much toe out you have, think about if it's angled and try to cater your squats to the positioning that you have on your board, okay? So again, squats. So we're gonna do base sets, 10 repetitions, okay? So we're gonna set a base layer, go through a number of exercises 10 times. As you get stronger, you'll repeat it. So instead of just doing everything once, you'll do it twice. And then over the weeks, you'll do three sets of 10, 10, 10, 10 of these different exercises, okay? And if you really want to get the most out of it, maybe you'll do some in the morning, you'll do some in the afternoon. So you got to think about the volume of what you want to do. If you're going to do four back-to-back -back days out there and you really want to get the most out of your $120 ticket, okay, so our $125 ticket, so you're going to need to do a lot, a lot of repetitions to feel really good out there. And I promise you, you're just going to feel so much better, okay? So, so we got our squats, so 10 of those, okay? And that's gonna be fine getting us through on the groomers, okay? But what if there's powder? Well, then we need a little bit of power. We need power for the powder, okay? So we're gonna do jumping squats, so 10 jumping squats. Now there's something specific about snowboarding. The steeper it is, if you're in powder, you need to be able to jump to turn, okay? So. I'm regular, so my left foot is my dominant side leaning down, so I go down, but I need to go over to my heel side edge, so I'm gonna make a left turn, okay? So I squat and I turn. Squat, jump, and turn. Squat, jump, and turn, okay? So, and if I can land and do that evenly, I'm not gonna be falling on one edge, I'm not gonna be falling over. If I can do a bunch of those, I'm gonna make it all the way down the run, not be dying, not be a sweat factory, we're going to be living it up and loving it, and I'm not going to get injured, hopefully, on my last run of the day. Okay, so jumping squats with 180 turns. That's going to get you through the powder. Now, what about it's the end of the day, and you're going to be traversing your one side of the resort, and you need to get all the way to the other because they're closing down the lifts, and you got to get there, but you're tired. Oh, and it's not really a lot of turning. You're on the, just this gentle so slope. And you got to hold it okay so what you need to do is you need to be on your toe edge so we're in a little bit of a squat position this dynamic active position that you're on your snowboard so because that way you can control your edges but now i'm just oh i'm curving to the right i'm way on the left side of the resort and i'm just on this slow traversing slope and i got to hold it okay so you're going to get in this squat almost like a wall wall chair exercise if you've done that uh, a wall squat but you're going to sustain that a little bit of a knee squat position and you're gonna go up and down with your heels, okay? So I'm getting a calf raise and I'm working my soleus, which is a lot more for endurance, not power. When I was jumping, that's power. This is endurance. This is a muscle that gets used when you're walking, running long distances. So we wanna train it in a specific way for snowboarding. So up, down, in the squat position. So these are just holding static and they have a lot of endurance in this position as well. And then I wanna be able to come up and hold that position, okay? Hold that position. And again, think of how long you want to be, how much endurance you need. Are you going to be out there eight hours? Is it going to be four? How many, are you going to take a day off in between? Are you going to ram it all together? 
that's the more you're gonna ram it all together, the more you work, you need to work it up. The less your endurance right now, the less your fitness, the more you need to do, but ease into it, okay? Most people get injured when they ramp up. Oh, I'm gonna get fit, fit tomorrow. Well, give it time, okay? So start doing this at least a, a month out before. Okay, so that's that motion. You also need to be, what if I need to go, I'm on the right side of the resort and I need to go over left? Well, now I'm doing toe raises. I'm in this static squat. My quads are working, my hips are working, my low back's working just a little bit. So I'm going up and down with my toes. And then I need to be able to up and hold it, okay? Now my weight is on my heels. That's hard balance point. Makes me want to fall over. Well, I've got to find that balance point so that when I'm snowboarding, I don't lose it. So can I get up and can I hold it? And now I'm working my anterior tibialis and toe extensors on the front and the endurance there, okay? Now I can combine those for riding on a groomer and working on the balance if you're a newbie in particular, but just to get these muscles going again because these don't get worked so much just in walking in, the, in that same fashion of toe side, toe side, heel side, toe side, heel side, right turn, left turn, right turn, left turn. And I'm just swallowing down, right turn, left turn, right turn, left turn, okay? Classic snowboarding posture. So as you can tell, I haven't been doing this. I My trip doesn't, I'm gonna do a number of days in Salt Lake City, not for another seven, eight weeks. In the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna start with that foundation, squats, jumping squats. I'm also gonna do lunges, okay? While not a very specific motion to snowboarding, it's excellent strengthening for my calf and lower leg, quads, glutes, and back, okay? So I'm not gonna neglect it because it's a great conditioning. So skiers, listen up. This looks a lot more like skiing, right? And especially telemark. Telly turn, telly turn. So you do 10 of those. And then what if it's a lot of powder? Okay, jumping lunges. Okay, we do these regularly. Start a couple times a week, then every other day, then every day. And then if, as you get closer and really want a lot of endurance, do it in the morning in the evening you're going to be so crazy fit you're just going to have a great time up there and you're going to wonder why everybody else is so tired and wants to go in and hot, get hot chocolate and you're waiting for the end of the day for the sauna and the hot toddies because you're going to be out there till the sun is going down okay so i hope you really enjoy this if you have any questions comment below if you don't subscribe already go ahead and do that because then you'll make sure you don't miss awesome content in the future so it's a great exercise Happy New Year, happy skiing everybody. Don't miss out on any of our video content by subscribing to our channel. You can learn more about our practice at www.artisanphysicaltherapy.com including joining the blog. We're on Facebook and Instagram at, at @artisanphysical. Let's get to the source and together let's get moving.